morning. Hope you're doing well today. Pray God's blessings are upon you and that you will have a great day in the Lord today as you go out into this world. And I pray you'll witness to at least somebody. My wife and I were talking this morning that things are quickly coming to an end. And if we're going to try to lead others to Christ, especially our families and our loved ones, we must be about our business for God. We must be going out today and witnessing and testifying to those who are lost that quickly time is coming to an end. Folks, you know how time quickly passes by. I mean, I'm 66 and never dreamed I would be here this fast. But how much faster is speed? it seems to be speeding up, Christ is getting us to the end. It's coming, and we need to be about our Father's business. But I heard some people talking the other day and discussing about the, the rapture of the church and when would that take place? Would it be before tribulation period that we read about in the book of Revelations? Would it be mid-trib when the first three and a half years? Uh, when will it take place? When is the church get, getting out of here? I have been always been raised, and I still to this day will believe it, that the church is leaving when the rapture takes place before the tribulation part takes place. We're not going to be here to go through all. We're going to be in heaven celebrating with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I firmly believe that today. And I want to share some scriptures with you. And starting in the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 10. This is the church, the message to the church Philadelphia. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them upon the earth. Folks, he's telling the church there, you're not going to be here. You're going home. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 10. It says, And to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivers us from the wrath to come. Then if you go over to St. Luke, verse, chapter 21, verse 36, this is Jesus talking. And he's talking about the coming of Christ and what all is going to take place. But in verse 36, he says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape Get out there. Escape means to get away. All of these things that shall come to pass. And, and all the way up to that point, he's been talking about things that are going to start happening. And we to stand before the Son of Man, that you may be counted worthy to escape. If we go back and look at this, it says, to escape all these things, uh, we must guard against sin and pray that our love towards Christ will not diminish in order that we may receive grace that we may receive strength to persevere in the faith and righteousness in Christ Jesus to leave here when the rapture takes place. Only by such perseverance and, and striving to honor God's word may, will they be able, will we be able to escape all the terrible things coming upon the world in the last days. Many believe that there's means of escape for those who faithfully keep on praying is the rapture that we're going to leave with the rapture. He's coming for a bride whose garments are white. White. They're not tainted with any sin. They don't have anything on them with sin. He's coming for those whose garments are white. He's coming for those who are watching, who are ready, and who are waiting. So today, folks, I don't want to be here during the tribulation. I don't want to be here. If you think it's bad now, when the Holy Spirit is here restricting him, the evilness, that when he comes and takes the church out, the Holy Spirit's going with him, and then everything down here will be opened up. And if you think it's bad now, you think about what it will be like in those days. If you can't serve Christ now, I don't know how you're going to serve Christ then. I'm begging you today, if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, please surrender your heart to him so that you may, too, go home when the church leaves and be in heaven while all this is down here. It's breaking loose. Don't put it off another day. We are not guaranteed today. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. Please surrender your heart and life to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your word that warns us of that to come. And it even tells us how to escape what's coming. Lord, I pray to those, those that are hearing my voice that are lost and undone and don't know you as Lord and Savior will surrender to you today so that their name can be added to the Lamb's Book of Life, and they too can leave here when the church and the Holy Spirit leave to go home to you. Lord, I thank you for that way of escape that you made that day at Calvary. 
I appreciate you saying, I, if I leave, I will come again, that where I am there, you may be also. Thank you, Lord, today. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, may God richly bless you today. Let's be ready.